amalgamation and mixing of flavors and mixing of textures. The Grohe Japanese toilet here and they all work on smart apps. So this is a mix of half fries, chana dal and papri. So we're looking to make a nice big hole and we're going to secure the base with some potato and the beans. So we're going to literally put all of that in there with the vermicelli. So nice and deep. We're going to add a dollop of tamarind for sana so we get gooeyness from the potato, a bit of texture from the <coughs> beans. Um, a little bit of crunch from the vermicelli and this all needs to be done very quickly now because it's going to drop so we need some sharpness from the onions a bit of bite from the pomegranate and then I like it to be a little bit more tangy so I'm going to mix this sharp mint and coriander infused water I'm going to fill it up 
the tongue. And we need to cause a big explosion of flavors in our mouth. So literally, it's all now fill up. Big open mouth. We need to hear a big crunching sound and have it in one go. And this is pure deli on a plate. The sharpness from the onions, the tanginess from the tamarind, the gooeyness from the potato. The water is so deep with the chaat masala, the pani puri mix. It opens up all your senses. It all comes together to cause a massive explosion of flavors. And the crunch from the semolina of the water puri, I think it's fantastic. It's the back of your throat and it just wakes you up. Yeah, we're gonna just add some tamarind. Sharpness from the onions again, pomegranate. I'm going to add extra beans for you in there. A little more tamarind. As soon as you bite into it, it's a crunchy style. Everything just explodes in your mouth. In terms of flavors and textures, Got some spicy, tangy, chili heat from the water, some crunch from the bundi or the crispy gram flour balls. In contrast to the crispiness, you got the softness of the potatoes and the chana, the kala chana. In between that, you got the crunch of the red Indian onions. Tanginess, sweetness, crunchiness, just full of flavor. The great thing about the pani puri which you serve here is that all the components are separate. Most places where they serve pani puri, they put it together from the time it takes from the kitchen to the table, it starts getting soggy. It's as good as any pani puri I've had in India. Here, on this plate, a little taste of India. In the Indian restaurant, pani puri on the plate doesn't get any better than this. Thank you. The John Murray, it's a classic from Calcutta. Uh, in Calcutta, they actually put peanuts in it, but we uh, don't use peanuts in the kitchen due to allergies. Uh, we only use cashew nuts in our kitchen in Mumbai. This is called uh, Belpuri. Texture-wise, it is similar, uh, but people from Bengal have their own version. And they're quite passionate about Jalmuri. We use a little bit of imli, the vermicelli, the chaat masala, and we keep it more to a drier texture, so it's quite palatable. And we top it up with some papri, which are wheat discs. Let's give it a go. <coughs> For a bit of bite, we temper the lentils, the gram chana, by fresh coriander, and the yellow color comes from using turmeric and the mustard oil, and a little bit of chili on that. Visually, it looks like a belpuri, uh, however, the taste is totally opposite to a belpuri. The way this has to be served is as soon as it's made, it has to be served so it retains that crispness, that crunch. Got a lot of crunchiness going on in here. Crunchiness from the puri there, the fried crispy briskets, roasted chana dal, which has its own crunch. You've got some crunch, tangy sweetness from the pomegranates. A little bit of fresh tasting taste as well with the fresh chopped coriander. Even though it looks like a bell puri, very dry, very different to a bell puri. It's a lot drier because it hasn't got the sauces on there. Overpowering taste of the mustard oil. So very mustardy in flavor. Got a subtle chili heat coming through with the chili powder he sprinkled on there. Got that unique taste of the chat masala, zinginess and zestiness from the lemon juice he's drizzled on there. Calcutta street food. Amalgamation and mixing of flavors and mixing of textures. Hard to believe that there's good taste tasting street food in an Indian restaurant. But these guys do it here. Freshly made, freshly served, freshly eaten, full of flavor. Thank you, chef. Thank you so much. Cheers. So chef, I've heard a lot 
about this restaurant, but I've heard a bit more about the loos. Okay. Tell me, show me your loos, man. <laughs> sure. So the most talked about thing after the food is the first flush toilet. Um, How did that happen? How did it rise by itself? So we've got uh, the Grovey Japanese toilet here. It's programmed to be on the man mode. Uh, it has um, heated seats and it's got various options of cleaning. It has heated water as well for flushing. We're a small restaurant. Um, cleaning toilets is always tricky when there's a queue. So we design them to be fresh and easy to clean. Um, the toilets are antibacterial uh, with the use of a lot of copper. There aren't great big mirrors like in other restaurants because cleaning glass is also it can be a bit of a nightmare. And copper naturally you know, does age. It gives us a safety net. They're functional, they're designed uh, for home and commercial use uh, and they can be programmed uh, to one's liking with temperature control, uh, different heat settings, uh, water saving technologies inbuilt uh, and uh, the out outer ring can uh, have an antibacterial coating as well and they all work on smart apps and uh, so forth so we've gone in with something functional which is uh, you know great for a high traffic restaurant right and the antibacterial uh, flush uh, then flushes um, so it's always kept uh, also tidy of course we've got the pop up tops which again are naturally uh, antibacterial so when customers are... So your bar top is copper? The bar tops are copper. So that's antibacterial. That's right. And we also try and incorporate uh, as much copper as possible in our pipe work. Um, similarly with our uh, tea bar, again, we've used copper. It gives us that reassurance. So these are Ayurvedic principles? Absolutely. Um, going back to basics again, historically, people use a lot of copper in India. People drink in copper. Uh, it can uh, drinking in copper is very therapeutic for the body. You bought the knowledge of the ancients, which are thousands of years old. You've used it in a modern setting. People just walk past it without thinking, thinking this is just a copper bar top. It's a copper sink in the loo. But no, deep thought, deep planning is going into what you've done. Well done. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you for explaining.